So, as I think I've said before, this is a very strange situation. So I just woke up and found that this is what's happened. I've had a major injury and um, a long time ago, and I'm in supported living at the moment. And, and previously I was in hospital. So I think I was in hospital for eight months and I've been here in supported living for three or four months now. Um, it's an amazing situation to find out that your life has changed so radically. I just woke up and this was the situation. So I'm working out ways now of how to survive it and how to make some progress. So I'm thinking that maybe I'll do some kind of online presence thing, some kind of online website. But I don't really know how to do it. I know there are lots of platforms out there that I could consider, but I don't really know how to start. Um, I will get something going. It will probably be YouTube to begin with um, and, and leave it at that for now. But um, it's so strange to to basically invent my life again. Um, I hardly know where to start. Um, I mean, there's so much to do. I mean, where do I begin? At the moment, I'm being supported in this accommodation, so I don't have to worry about anything or do anything. But um, I do want to communicate more and I want to be productive again. But it's really hard to know where to start really. Because obviously my wife is not in touch with me for some reason. Um, I have two children that I don't know. I don't know them as, as people, but I'm aware of their names and that I have children. Um, I don't know if I'm in a position to do anything about that, um, to, to be a father. I mean, I don't really know how that will progress. So, so there's a the family situation. I used to have my own business um, in computing, um, a computing consultancy, and I also used to teach a martial art. So, um, I had two businesses that obviously are no longer functioning. So I don't have any income anymore. I'm completely dependent on the state now. And I don't know what savings I have, for example. So, um, I, as far as I know, I don't have a place to live anymore. Because the mortgage wouldn't have been paid for some months. Um... I don't know what money I have. I don't have a job anymore because I was self-employed in any way. So I don't really know what the future is. I'm just here in supported living. I'm still injured, so there's many physical things that are a problem. Um, I'm getting some physiotherapy, I think. And I'm on med medication, but I don't feel I'm doing very much in order to make progress. So it does concern me, and I do want to follow that up. But um, it's unfair of me to expect my situation to be improved very much by people. I mean, what could they do? If my body is broken then the only thing I can do is look after me and hope that it fixes itself. But I'm very concerned that it might not happen. I might not get better very much. So it's difficult to know what the future is really. Um, I'm just here. Being looked after and everything else is on, on hold in a way. It does concern me, but at the same time, I'm, I'm too busy being ill and being broken to spend too much time worrying. I'm just existing, kind of, at the moment. 
And the, the thing is that stuns me, is that I know it could be a lot worse. I could have lost an arm, I could be disabled. I mean, completely disabled. I could have lost my eyes or whatever. So, and there are people going through these things and I just find it absolutely amazing because I'm finding this extremely difficult, this situation. But the fact that it could be worse just absolutely stuns me. And that there are many people out there and dealing with such things and it's just incredible. So try and, as I said before, try and appreciate what you have and realise that even if you're having difficulties in life, the fact that you can walk and talk freely and remember and taste food, which I can't, that's very annoying. The fact that you can roll over in bed and do very little normal things, very important. And if you lost it, you would soon realise how important they are. So um, I don't have anything particularly useful to say, unfortunately. But um, I will work on something. Thank you.